Peace family, so I'm back with another one. Today what I want to do is I want to talk to my chosen ones about how they will always try to invade your spiritual space, your personal space, you know. Not speaking as far as about being in your, your physical presence, but in your spiritual presence. They are always trying to invade. Like, even if you open up a door for them, and show them the room in your spiritual space they'll still look at the room inside ignore it won't even step foot in walk past to go to the next door because that one is closed because they want to be that invasive and what kind of dove me into this subject today was just doing a little traveling time traveling you know and just processing how when we tend to be around certain people I'm gonna let this pass. We just started. So what what tends to happen is if you ever had situations where you've been around like new person, old person, don't matter like the relationship style but it's a certain kind of vibration and frequency that you encounter where you could be engaging about one subject but you can tell by the way their energy is being presented you know, by the way they looking at you you know, by the way their body gestures are, you can tell that they're trying to dive into another space in your spiritual space and one way you can always tell is by how uncomfortable it makes you if you start engaging with somebody and let's say y'all talking about tacos and you love tacos but the way they're presenting it the way they're engaging with you looking at you their you know their body movements just the whole the whole uh, ingredients that come with communication. It's always an uncomfortable feeling when someone is invading your physical space. It's no different than when people are invading your spiritual space. You know, and that's just like a physical representation of being in somebody's presence. But you also have other examples of people trying to invade your spiritual space when you're not around them by either someone who's constantly always on your social medias, you know, got to comment or respond to, I'm talking about people, people, people like that, that know you personally. If you out here for the universe, like how I am, ah, you are aware of which boxes. Okay. So we got the world ah, right here. And then we got my personal life right here, you know, it's a lot smaller. So I would dive into my personal box as far as when I'm speaking about people invading my space. I, I'm out here for the public, so I don't really see, like, the masses of people. Like, I wouldn't take that as invasive because I'm putting myself out there. So whatever you do is on you. You know what I mean? Um, but, I, but I say that to say, like, this is one reason why people has to be in constant communication with you when you're not in their presence. I had guy friends that used to always feel like they had to hit me in the a.m. or hit me midday to see if we was going to get some gaming in or hit me in around nighttime to see if I'm putting any numbers in. You know, just different male friends that used to do these things. On the other side of the spectrum, we already know how it is when you deal with the opposite sex because we have this technology now. Now we feel as though everybody should be texting and texting and texting every day, all day. I didn't grow up with this shit, I grew into it. So for me, I understood how life was when all I could do was make a phone call from the house, I had to meet you there, and then I had to trust that you were gonna be there. That had left a lot more trust into the spiritual realm, to the creator, that put a lot more responsibility on each individual. Now, even saying that out loud right now, the way life was structured naturally before it became this weird thing, you could tell that they was slowly pulling away things so that way 
we wouldn't trust ourselves we wouldn't trust the creator we would just allow people to invade our space so you gotta process it like Everything that's happening in the physical world is secondary to what's happening in here. So if we could see that, okay. I always thought this for a long time now. They still haven't came out. But we got all these phones, right? All kind of different phones. But nobody has created some kind of phone casing where you could cover your cameras. The front and the rear. Maybe you just want some privacy because we know that all this technology can be hacked. Or maybe you just want to keep your camera lenses on your phone because it's over a thousand dollars still that's in your pocket. Maybe you just want to keep those as crystal clear as possible. It's 2023. There hasn't been one accessory that came out yet that is a flap to cover your camera screen. You have the regular fold out old android ones that look like a wallet you know what i mean but that's different it's not nothing that's sexy that's that's saucy that you can just you know uh, uh maybe they had an otter box that you could slide up and slide down over the camera lens thing you know just the camera lens piece i say that to say like we've been allowing people to invade our space you got ring bells right and I don't respect the ring doorbells because I know like you think you're protecting yourself. No, it's, to me, ring doorbells is just weak ass people who want to trust the system more. Like you gotta build some kind of strength yourself. Like learn how to protect yourself in the house if somebody gets in a post from watching everybody outside the house. So I felt like I would have been invading my neighbor's physical space if I put a ring bell on my door because my door is right here then their door is right here so even if i'm in the house most of the time i can always see all the activity and engagement that's going on with them so in my world i'm like damn that's pretty invasive i didn't want the camera if anything i, I had processed that a while ago when i first moved into this location where i'm at now because i got a retarded witchy ass bm simple i don't need nobody sneaking up trying to pop in pop out to my house and my space when I'm not there. So that's why I had even processed that, right? But these is just all physical examples. Physical examples which are secondary. You got people who communicate and text with you all day because they need to invade your space. They're trying to figure out what's going on with you so they can figure out how to play their cards. You got people who call and check in on you to see where your levels and temperatures at. You know what I mean? I just had one of my male friends just hit me with a temperature check. Nigga been being weird. I haven't even been calling him or talking to him. We stopped talking for a few weeks now. And then on Thanksgiving, he called. I didn't answer right away because I was doing something. But I literally called the nigga back within two to three minutes. He didn't answer. So I binged him back two, three more times because we hadn't talked in a couple weeks. Three times in a row. I think the third one, I think he hit the ignore button on me. I didn't hear from him again until like this week or sometime and I barely answered the phone and I only answered just to see what the fuck he wanted you know just because I was I had already finished up a lot of my work and shit that I was doing he kind of has an idea of my routine because we we engaged a lot but I knew it was more so a temperature check because a lot of people don't stand solid on their word anymore so for me it's like When the temperature check came, I knew it was a way of trying to invade my space to see where I'm at. He won these beings that need people to, um, we all want to be needed, right? But he wants to force people to believe in him. And, but he don't take insight from other people around him. See, that's not going to work over here because I listen and I learn, you know, I lead and I can follow. I do it all. I do it all. I'm not one of the people that, oh, no, I ain't no follower. Yes, I, I follow the creator. You know, it's certain things or certain beings that I might get around that might be more organized in a certain area. I'm going to follow their damn direction. What the hell is the purpose of me being like, oh, I, I, I cannot do it. I, I don't want to be, I don't want to be labeled as a follower. No, you don't want to be labeled as a follower because, it, you know, you're following a bunch of shitty people. It's a difference between saying, yeah, I'm an excellent, I'm a great follower because you have a great leader. Things are not spoken with the same 
intentions on it out here in today's society so we look at everything as fucking being weird and witchy a lot of things that's like water we pay for water technically we paying to have different chemicals in our water some people like yeah if you buy bottled water it's better some people like shit if you get a filter on your tap water it's better god damn it either way we know it's coming from a witchy team so Ah, whether you call it tomato or tomato, you know, you got the extra funds to feel a little bit better to spend on the water. Like, good, good, good for you. You know, a lot of people who drink water can tell the difference between, you know, this water from that water to this water to that water. And to be honest, we need a new name for that as well, too. We call it water, but water is like, that's, it's, that's a whole nother subject. I was about to go dive in there. But water is a, is a blanket term for what that liquid actually does for us and for this universe we just call it water and it just is like calling it grass like yeah this grass that water brings and creates life just like it can take life away it creates a lot of life it helps a lot of animals it helps a lot of fruits veggies trees plants or anything that you can name Most of those things, sun, water. So when you look at all the things that we've allowed them to invade in our physical realm, we got, I remember when they start putting the lights up on, um, not the lights, they start putting the cameras on top of the lights. What was that, like five, 10, 15 years ago? I don't know, some shit like that. Everything is happening so rapid, it's no longer waiting for each generation. Before us, you had to, oh, then that last generation, like, oh, yeah, we got to experience that. We didn't get to experience this. Our generation now, every five, ten years, this shit is rapid. Like, you, it's hard to even keep track and pace with how fast everything is shifting and changing. And if you're not a person that knows how to flow like water, then you most likely will drown. It's just how it's set up, you know. The water isn't evil. You just didn't prepare yourself. I'm not a being that blames the tools, but I understand the beings and the entities that's using these tools. Computers and phones aren't bad. It's the motherfucking people that's using them. We wouldn't be here where we are today if it wasn't for it. So we got to stop blaming the tools as well. You know, we allowing these people to invade us. They put cameras up on top of all the lights. But in my city, people aren't getting pulled over for running red lights. I could run a red light and it's been red for two, three minutes. I will not get a ticket in the mail. Fear mongering. And it's a way to keep tabs on you. Say you was a somebody. They would easily be able to watch you through these uh, uh, what they call it, CCTV over there in like another part of the world? Y'all know, put it down below. I think it's CCTV. But it's literally cameras everywhere and they anybody could tap into a website and watch it. You know what I mean? So you got those cameras, then you got store cameras, apartment cameras, you got your phone, which is with you as a camera, then you got your TV in a house that's there with you. You got your bank card, which got a GPS tracker. You want the newest car, right? You got a GPS tracker on there too, and probably some kind of Bluetooth that listens to your whole conversation. That's what be happening when, when all these new cars keep coming out. You're looking at the luxuries instead of looking at, oh, you about to allow more people into your privacy and your space. So actually following the older structures allowed you to have more of this less invasive energy because you was able to protect it a lot easier now in order to protect it in today's society you damn near gotta throw everything out and live like in a tent somewhere you know because of all the entities that has access to this technology is not the technology but a lot of these beings around us are invasive and they will continuously try to invade your space. You know, my buddy friend of mine, that was just him invading my space. He ain't really want shit. He hit me saying, we about to, you know, I, I'm about to be at the house so I get on the game, I'm open a party check. Nigga never got on, nigga never called back, nigga never. It was all a heat check, you know what I mean? It's all a heat check. 
as, as much as I'm here, he just wanted to check in, ask some questions to see if he could wiggle around or use me else. Or, or, or how could he extort my energy? So the best way for him to do that would be to invade my space. You have to call me because we haven't been communicating and engaging. No different than when I have random female friends. I don't like to call them friends. Female associates and females that I know. I'm not one of them people who is a firm believer in having opposite sexes as the friends. If that's your family, then you take care of them like your family. Like if, like my sisters, my cousins, aunts and stuff, like. I could say right now, at this point in time in my life, I don't have any real female close friends that I would go jump out on a limb for. That was back in high school when we was all in the same proximity. But now that we done gotten older, it's not the same transition. Because in the back of my mind, I'm a grown ass man. If you're a female friend of mine, I am pretty disciplined. But the first thought of me being a straight masculine male is I want to fuck. Not saying that that's what's going to happen, but I, I don't even want to have to go through fighting those thoughts i don't think about that shit when it's family of mine you know when it's people what happened was men was able to take care and be friends and associates with other females back in the day more when you process it because all the other females had a man relationships was normal back then normal shit is not normal now so i don't I'm going to go over here and talk to Sarah, and Sarah got Tyron, Ben, Jerry, everybody else that's that's compensating in a whole nother area. I'm not, I'm competing with real world, so I'm not going to go compete for the opposite sex. That's not what the fuck I'm going to do. Simple process. Now, I ain't even going to go into the other part where I was going to go to. I got to be mindful of these things because we, we have to be very wary of the subjects we choose on you know before we put them out into the universe but i also didn't want to get too sidetracked with the invasion of the space the invasion of the space you're gonna have both sexes trying to invade your spiritual space so be mindful when people just randomly tap in to see what's going on with you or you know just watching you from a distance and from the side with the side eye you know or ask you questions like Hey, what color is the sky today? Really, they don't give a fuck what color the sky is. They just want to see how your energy responds to the question. You know, they don't know if you've been in a, a good mood before you met them or in a bad mood before you met or y'all talked. So this is one way they can invade. So you got to remember, we had a spiritual war, so they have to get in your house. Once they get in their house, your house, they have to move in and they're going to move you out of your house. You know what I mean? But I ain't want to run it up too long. Be mindful of these beings out here invading your spaces. Not always your physical space as far as where you at right now. Sometimes it could just be a thought that you had of these people from the past. And it just keeps resurfacing, which is taking up space in the inside. In the inside. Anytime I point to the inside here, I point to the inside here. Because it's all one. You know? Tapping everything down below. Peace and love to the kings and queens.